Hey guys, this is Shane here from Echo Soundworks. In this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool technique you can use to come up with new creative chord progressions. So the idea is simple. We're gonna be reversing a chord progression. You can use this on lead lines, bass lines as well, but we're gonna be focusing on chords in this video. So you can do this in most DAWs. I know you can do it in Ableton, but we're gonna be focusing on Logic, Logic's workflow for this, right? Now, I like using this technique or this workflow, this kind of hack in two specific situations, I think will happen to a lot of other producers as well. This probably has happened to you at some point. Maybe you're working on a track and you love your chord progression for your drop, for your intro, for some section of the track, and you want a different chord progression, maybe for a bridge, a breakdown, a buildup, whatever it might be. And you might be having a hard time finding a new chord progression that fits the character, that fits the emotional vibe that you've established with your chord progression in the section song that you like. So this is really helpful for that because if you can reverse and flip those chords, it's gonna be a different chord progression, same voicing, same character, Character should be a similar vibe. Now, I also like using this technique when I'm also just stuck and I can't come up with a new idea. I might pull up a MIDI progression from a track I worked on previously. It could be in the last week, last couple days. Export some MIDI, then into the new session they go, maybe change the key, reverse it, and then I'm off and running with a brand new idea. Now, there's a third kind of bonus way in which you can use this, and I'm actually gonna post a short video on our Instagram page if you guys wanna ju jump over there and check that out. It's gonna be like less than a minute long, but if you've ever wanted to get a reversed sound, like reversed, you know, how cool reversed, like, chord progression or chop can be, but you wanted it to play back the same way that you intended it to, the same way you wrote it, like let's say you're playing an A minor, an F, and a C, and you want to reverse that audio, and you don't want to play C, F, A minor, then you have to go in and chop all the audio. Now that becomes a pain in the ass when it's more intricate chords and you're hitting you know, single notes within the chords. This technique actually helps with that. So if you want to see that, head on over to our Instagram page after the video. But let's dive into Logic and take a look at how we can start reversing a MIDI chord progression to generate new ideas. All right, so let's take a quick listen to the beat. So the tracks that we're going to be focusing on in this video will be these two purple tracks right here. One is coming from Anna 2, and these sounds are coming from our X keys pack. This is one of the lo-fi pianos inside of Anna 2. And this one is called the Hammerphone, it's coming from Serum. So ultimately what we do in this video, we're gonna to have to do the both of these tracks, but let's mute one for now, just so we're working with one section or one region. All right, so let's double click or hit P on your keyboard to open up the MIDI region. Now I'm showing you probably with one of the harder chord progressions to pull this off with, and I, I'm doing that on purpose. This isn't on grid, there's a little bit of swing on some of the notes, right? And that makes it a little bit more difficult to do, but you can still do it. So if you're playing something that's more straight, that's more on grid, you know, four on the floor, for, for, for example, this is gonna be a lot easier. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do once you're looking at your MIDI region is make sure that you don't have any weird random gaps, right? So if we reverse this, if we think that we're reversing the position of all this MIDI, we'd have a bunch of, well, not a bunch, but we'd have two tick marks, which is not even close to a bunch, but we'd have a little bit of dead space at the beginning. So what you wanna do is highlight these and then drag them out until the end of your region. So we'll just go to there. That doesn't have to all be at the end of the region, it just has to have something there. Otherwise you'll get dead space at the beginning once you reverse it. So let's highlight all these. And let's go to functions and we'll go to MIDI transform and we're going to go to reverse position. Now from here, you just want to make sure that your region length or your region position matches up with the position here. So we see that it says bar five to bar nine in our range, in our range window, our main window in logic. And it does say five to nine here as well. So let's just hit select and operate. So now it did its voodoo magic and it's reversed the position of this. So if we solo it. It sounds really crazy. You might be thinking, well, what, what are you doing? How, how is this cool? Well, check this out. All you really need to do is highlight the lowest notes, like your bass notes, and drag those to the start of a bar, right? Especially if you have swing on it like I did. So now if we play this. So this first section here kind of sounds like a turnaround. So let's just delete that, drag this, and move it over. And we'll copy that one over. So now we've generated a new chord progression by just reversing our old chord progression. And if we play it with the uh, beat here, let's mute this audio and mute the bass. 
Right. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty big departure from the original chord progression, but still fits the vibe. So like I said in the intro, you can use this as a way to spark whole new, you know, creative ideas, new chord progressions, new melodies, or you can use it as a way to create different sections to a track. Maybe you need to get a bridge in there or a pre-course or build up or a breakdown. And maybe you're struggling to write the chords that fit the drop that you have or the verse or the section that you already have and that you already like. This is one way to spark the creativity by having logic do all of the heavy lifting for you so if you guys have any questions or comments post those below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can if you like this video and you want to see more like it the whole youtube spiel you know how it goes please hit that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you guys get an update when we release new videos all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you next time